talk about how, how did you get those games? I was trying to listen at the same time, but did you? How many did you have before the tournament kind of fell apart? Uh, the only the only game that we had, which you refer to the Power Five conferences, we we had made uh, the decision to play Louisville uh, back in the spring. Uh, we knew we were going to play that game. I think it leaked out a little bit last week, but uh, I'd visited with Coach Patino on the road and. Out of respect for the Power Five conferences, I know they like to release their schedules and they don't like somebody to beat them out on that, which we had, we had alluded to the fact that we would wait. Uh, and uh, when it leaked out last week, obviously we knew we could go with it. The other games came to fruition because of the Lone Star Classic, uh, which was, you know, in all honesty, it wasn't as sexy as Arkansas and Minnesota, but in all honesty, it was probably as well, if not more competitive because of the teams that were involved in that Classic. But they needed a team to drop out. They needed to go to a four-team, three-round, uh, a round-robin type of format, and they invited all of the teams to partake in this tournament. Uh, we were the first one, I, I think, that they called. Uh, according to them, we were, and uh, uh, the first couple of options we, we didn't we didn't really agree to, and then they came up with this last option, and we felt like you know what. Uh, this is, uh, this is available. Some of the options included really major travel, uh, which was not conducive for us financially. Uh, but with Arkansas and Minnesota, those are where we can get to in and out. And specifically, when you play four games in one week, uh, we wanted to make sure that we were playing games close to our home base, and they allowed us that opportunity. Uh, they also allowed us the opportunity to add uh, two more games to our season ticket package. and. Uh, that was at no cost to us and a bonus to our season ticket holders because they're going to get to see the entire uh, or they're going to get to see a first from what Tom Weber has reported that this will be the most number of most home games. Is that right, Tom? Correct. Right. Most home games, non-conference home most, games. Most non-conference home games in the history of our program. And uh, I, I think that's a valuable asset for our fans. How did that 